slowly but steady we are approaching harvest season which means we need our plugger tracks ready this one is already out of the shed now this machine needs a lot of maintenance as it went running for the whole winter and also for the spring and besides that i did not fix everything after harvest last year as i knew a lot of more things were broken i just didn't feel like fixing them fixing them as well this is also the machine where we got a new cylinder in the bin table because the old one was leaking and we already fixed some stuff but now we need to fix some other stuff as we were having a bearing in here which was squeaking a lot we also have the gears of the bin table which are actually worn out and we also have the gears and the v-belt and the pulleys in there for the bin table which are also worn out so we need to replace them as well besides that there seems to be something going on with the drive belt from what i understood but we need to fix that as well Now it's clear, this pulley, it should rotate, but if I require any power of the machine, it doesn't rotate, so this V-belt is really weak, and it's not just weak, it's also worn out, and it's upside down, so we're gonna have to replace it by a new one. Well, this belt is clearly worn out. As you can see, it already ripped open. It only took a little bit more to actually snap it. So it's good to replace it. <laughs> That's the actual cause that we don't have tension there. So let's put a new one on. Well, that one is a bit worn, especially here. So we're gonna have to replace this bolt, and we're also gonna have to replace the pulley. The pulley is also completely worn out. This belt here is also worn, it's like the bin table. So we're gonna take it out as well and put a new one in. And to do so, we actually need to demount two bolts on top here. And we also need to mount bolts on the rear, which are actually holding a bearing in place. Then we should be able to get the V-belt out, put the new V-belt in, and it should be good again. New belt, let's put it in. I'm 
also going to need to take out the, the gear, which is actually on the bottom of the bin table, as that one is also worn out. Actually here the running, and that's not good, so I want to replace it. But for that, I need to dismount some stuff on the bin table to actually get a complete set out. And then I can take the gear off, as the gear is very solid on the shaft. So I need to put it in the vise to actually get it out. So we got a new gear and we can install it and then everything should be running fine after we set it up correctly. So let's install it. So to be able to take the bin filler belt off, we need to loosen it and after that we can pull this metal wire out and then we can access it. So let's get that done. Well, this V-belt also had its best time, so we're gonna replace this one as well. No squeaking or nothing, no broken bearings, absolutely perfect. That's more like it. Well, here we got machine number three. 
and this one has the problem that it will not start. The engine rotates perfectly and really fast, it just won't start running. So you get either a fuel problem or an ignition problem. And my first guess is ignition, so we're gonna take a look at the ignition and see if that works. If it works, then we know it's fuel. I think I found the problem. In here, in the carburetor, there's a little hole where the fuel goes up into the mixing chamber. But that hole did seem to be plugged, so I blew it through there. I put some degreaser in there, and everything seems to flow through yeah, now. So I think that we fixed it. So let's mount it back together and hope the machine starts again. Now we can change the oil, but first we let the engines warm up so the oil will be liquid and then we can change it the best. This belt has a bad gas, gas spring, so we're gonna replace that as well because we don't want dropping belts during harvest. It just takes time for people to lift it up and it should stay in place, not be lifted all the time. Well, the oil is nice and warm now, so it will come out easily. So let's unplug the machines and get new oil in there. Well, it's clearly that this machine ran a lot more hours last year, as the oil is way more black. So it's good that we replace it. Well, we finished both these machines. The other one is still inside, as it had a pretty rough running season, so we still need to fix some more things on it, and I don't have to pass today. But these two are both ready. We just took them out of the shed, charged the batteries, we had to fix the engine problems of that one, and we cleaned them a bit off. And now they're ready to go, as I cannot figure anything that is worn out or broken at this moment. So they will first do a few test runs in the upcoming weeks, where we just pick a few bins every time we have a summer apple which is ripe to pick. And if anything squeaks or is bad during that time, then we know you gotta fix it. So far, it all looks good for these two, so that's perfect.
machines all seem to run fine so let's put them in the chat and we will take them out when we start harvesting it's good to have them ready early